There's no such thing as the Fed for all time. It's a different institution, and years from now, it'll be a different Fed, and it'll be shaped by different things. The Federal Reserve System that they know today is a system that was born just about 100 years ago, and it's really changed a lot over time. Some of those changes um, were internal, you know, from things inside the system. Some were events that forced change on the system. I think the Fed's been a great learning institution, and I hope we stay that way in the future. The politicians said, we've got to do, be able to do better than the gold standard, but the economists in the early part of the century were not ready to manage the standard. Essentially, without the gold standard, what we have is an economist standard, a standard that depends entirely on the understanding of mo monetary system uh, that, that economists alone have been producing and that economists alone have some hope of understanding. Well, it was premature in the 20th century to let it, let it loose on, on the world. We've learned a lot. I happen to be an optimist. I think that with inflation targeting, with the Federal Reserve's um, lessons learned, that we, we can avoid repeating the mistakes of the past. My view of the, of the, of the history of the Fed um, and the history of central banking is that there's a lot of learning that takes place. It's institutional learning. You have certain preconceived notions uh, which you inherited from the past, the Fed did, about what they were supposed to do. They were faced with a new reality. The financial markets changed a lot from those of the 19th century. Again, the Fed had to adjust to that. So there's learning that takes place. The learning is never simple, it's never linear. There's always non-linearities. There are mistakes that are made. And now Bernanke, who's doing untold new things, and some people are critical of it. Other people think it's great. So with respect to him, history will tell us how he did, because it's still too soon to tell. The first 100 years, um, as Mao said about the French Revolution, it's too, too early to tell. I think um, we're reminded that the, uh, the Fed is a work in progress. There's a lot of uh, debate and controversy around the measures that the system is taking at the moment in response to the financial crisis and the slow recovery. The history reminds us it's not the first time that the Federal Reserve System has repeatedly evolved in, in response to events, in response to crises that will continue. The good part is the Fed emerged as a very small organization and it's managed to grow into the world's most important central bank. And it did, did that without any real crisis occurring in its organization. Yeah, I think it's made major mistakes along the way. The Great Depression, the Great Inflation, a lot of business cycles, and I think its policy now is heading us to a disaster. Certainly, future economic historians may look differently at some of the same events that today's historians look at. You know, what I'd be most interested in is, at our 125th anniversary, what are economic historians uh, at that time going to say about the financial crisis that we're just coming out of, but, but to some extent not fully out of? There are so many heated opinions today about what the Fed's done and what the Fed is currently doing. And I think we're not really going to know, really, how we should be thinking about that until we put a lot more distance between today's events and the future.